this morning as the numbers continue to grow. You know, we first were told it was two, and then we met a man on the street who was at Los Angeles Fire Department, uh, member of the fire department in Los Angeles County, uh, and he told us that he had pronounced at least 20 dead. Then we were told there was 20, and now it's 50, and first it was, you know, 30 or 40 injured, now it's 400. Those numbers are going to continue to fluctuate, Sandra. I'm looking uh, now into the festival uh, site from my location here, and if Photographer Eric can pull out and come back down. You can see some some of the uh, investigation that's going on. You can see some folks inside there. It, um, looks like maybe federal law enforcement um, by the way the shirts they're wearing. There's still uh, police here in tactical gear on the outside, just outside this uh, this lot where um, the concert took place. And you can also see the stage is still there. The fabric on either side still flapping in the wind. That's where Jason Aldean was performing. And we do know the mass of people that was down in front of the stage. And now that we know where those windows are, you couldn't see it at night. Now that the light from the sun is hitting the side of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, you can see where those windows are located. And very clearly, those windows have a direct and straight shot right down into that area in front of the stage. And that's where the gunfire came from, guys. And Adam, that's what we're, tr we're waiting to hear more about. We're, we're told the next uh, Las Vegas police um, department presser will be happening at about 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. And we look forward to some sort of update as to the shooter's uh, check-in. The police confirmed he checked in four days ago, Thursday, September 28th. They did not know at that right. time whether or not he had been coming and going from that hotel room, whether or not he had just locked it off from anybody being able to access and did come and go. That certainly will be a, a big question as we await an update from the L uh, Las Vegas police. Absolutely. You know, and standing here this morning, we've you know been out here since 10-something last night when this first started. It's, it's pretty chilling to look up there. I mean, obviously, we've seen bodies. We've seen, um, you know, talk to people with blood uh, all over them. They were trying to help anybody they could. But to see those windows blown out like that, you know, and know, and, and knowing what we know now, uh, that that's where all that gunfire came from. I mean, those people had no chance. And that's what... Uh, one of the one of the witnesses we interviewed at one point was law enforcement and said to me, you know, there was no chance. I mean, it was basically shooting fish in a barrel, um, and it's just it, it was chaos. It's now it's it's more of a, I think the point now it's starting to sink in. It goes back to where we started this live report with the referencing the guest you just had and about how she sat down and sobbed, and and that's starting. We're starting to hear that story from others who survived this. As the sun comes up and it starts to sink in, they've been they've been interviewed. They talk to their loved ones, and they realize that you know they are one of the lucky ones. And people are starting to come back too. You're seeing people. In fact, Eric, this thing over here to the right, you're starting to see some people come back. Uh, you know, they're allowed to get their cars if they're not too far close to the the uh, actual crime scene. You'll see them draped in blankets, um, draped in you know jackets, blankets, uh, sheets, that kind of thing from the hotels. They're coming back from over. Uh, Tropicana's one and also the Hooters hotels where a lot of them went to. And you're seeing them come back now. And as they come back, you know, you'll see the look on their faces. What a shock. I mean, how could it not be? And, and I was talking to law enforcement here, uh, Las Vegas PD, and just a look on their faces. You know, they're you know, standing here in awe uh, of what has happened and what this, this community, and people don't realize that. You come to Vegas, you party on the Strip, you don't realize that there's a massive community here away from Las Vegas Strip that are people that you know, like any other city in this country. And those those people obviously are dealing with this. Loved ones were, were obviously here inside this facility uh, at this concert. And we also know that people came from as far away as Canada, Alaska. Uh, and many people here from Southern California, Los Angeles Police Department is saying two of their officers were here and were injured. So uh, the information keeps coming, Sandra. We expect more at that press conference. But now that the sun's up, to see that those windows blown out, you know, really kind of shows you the perspective of what that shooter had. And they've been telling us from very early on that he had a plan. Um, and as we learn more about when he checked in and the other details, that plan becomes very clear. Right. He was here to kill. Adam Housley, thank you for that update. We'll get back to you shortly. All right. So we're getting a bit more information now. President Trump will address all of this at 1030 Eastern Time, so 47 minutes from now. Uh, live from the White House and certainly live coverage here. Uh, 